<laughs> hey guys, Pete Large Cow Restrictors. Uh, just got up here in the snake room. I just uh, sprayed down a phrase enclosure so she's got nice and humid because she is in shed. Um, I usually up the humidity a lot when they're in shed and then let it go back down to where it usually is normally at. So uh, <clears throat> she's not going to be coming out today at all. Um, we're going to do the next video in the uh, series. So we've done spider, banana, normal, and leopard. So there's four. So we're going to do number five. Um, I didn't know where to start with number five. Um, but we'll, we will do a... Uh, I guess it's a gene combination that I have. I know, like I said, I don't have any single genes um, that I will show off. But most people, I don't know a lot of people that have this one. There's a few. Uh, it is not, I don't know how to put it. A lot of people kind of frown on what they make. Um, so uh, I don't know. We're going to jump in and see what we can do with it. I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. And I think next week we're going to start pairing uh, the female that we have. She is, four, I could, she's 1,480 grams right now. Um, I'll wait until next week after she feeds one more time. That should put her over the 1,500 gram mark. So then we'll start pairing her. So I will pull the male out first. Eh, you know what, I'll pull her out first. She's right up in the front of the tub. I'm gonna show her off. Right here. Now this is a pastel micro scale. Micro scales are different than scaleless head. Even though they produce the same outcome. If that makes sense. Micro scale to micro scale will produce, can produce a scaleless animal. She is missing scales on her head. She is a little bit more higher expression than the male that I have. I'll show you him in a minute. As you see, she's missing some scales on her head. She is not a scaleless head. Scaleless heads um, are smooth. They feel like a normal ball python. These guys' scales, it's hard to say, are beaded. They're smaller. So they. the best way I can describe these guys is they feel like a basketball. Almost. So, and they have reduced heat pits. As, as a normal micro scale, the heat pits are reduced. I'm not going to... It'll show her off to a, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. She doesn't have hardly any any heat pits. She has a couple. So that's another telltale sign of a micro scale. When they're fully scaleless is what we're going to jump into. Um, a lot of people say that that's bad. And, you know, they're hard to take care of. I don't think it's necessarily hard from my opinion. I'll find out when we get one. Uh, I think it's just necessarily a little different than what you would care for a normal, you know, scaled ball python. Um, I think higher humidity. Uh, some people say keep them on paper towel or paper, new, uh, printless newspaper, because um, they don't have that scaling to help protect them. Um, of course, feed frozen thawed. You don't want to feed live. They don't have any protection, again. Uh, in case the rat decides to scratch them or try and bite them. So frozen thawed, no matter what. And uh, they shed out more, uh, more frequently. And uh, so far that's the main things that I've heard. And I've done my research and found that those are the main things. Um, she was is from Royal Constructor Designs, Garrick DeMeyer. We got her from Tinley two years ago. Is it two years now? Jeez, it's almost two years now. It'll be two years in October. <sighs> Time's flying. Um, so we picked her up with a male. Um, as you see, she's very active. She's very cool. Um, like I said, she's 1,480 grams. She's uh, just right there. So I thought, you know, I could probably pair her this week, but I'll wait until next week. I'm not going to rush things. So it'll be a late pairing this season, like uh, Aphrodite, when she gets back up to weight, I'm going to start pairing her with uh, Discord again, see if we can get some more GHI clowns. She was a little late to the party to get back on food. I'm going to put her away real quick. Go on, sweetheart. Uh, 
That is Eris. Eris, like I said, is a pastone <clears throat> micro scale. I got freaking. I swear they, they roll around in their poop when I get up here. Or just before I get up here, so they, then I get dirty. A little bit of Clorox dyeing on the hands will do. So I can run up, moving everything and washing my hands. All right. Anyway, that happens. It seems like they do it on purpose, but they don't. All right, I'm gonna pull out the mail now. Uh, Eris is our mail. Come here. You're not gonna stay in there. Of course he's. This is Eris. Eris. Aries. He is our pastel microscale male. Of course, he's all balled up. Dog ball python. Ball python. This is why. We were ever wondering. He may come out of there. He may not. Uh, he was in his water dish, of course. Just chilling. And uh, so we're going to pair these two together <clears throat> and see if we can get. Um, a super pastel, super micro scale. Um, everything else will be pastel, micro scale, pastel micro scale. Um, I am not entirely sure if we'll get any normals out of that. Um, we might. <clears throat> It'll be the first time I've paired them, paired these guys, so I'm not entirely sure if any normals will come out of that pairing. I don't think so. But this is what ball pythons do. <laughs> he is not going to come out and say hi. He's balled up pretty tightly. So this is what they do in the wild when they're they feel threatened. They'll hide their heads, or even in captivity, they'll hide their heads. Because um... oh, there he is. Are you going to come out and say hi? Come on. I'm usually pretty good at doing this. Just takes patience. You don't want to force it. Right, there's his head. He is not. It's high expression as far as missing scales on its head as the female. Um, he does have, I think, maybe one heat pit on each side, if that. But uh, they're very, um, very cool. Aries. Aries is, has been pairing with our girl Artemis. So I'm trying to get some more micro scales going. Um, so... He has been seeing his one first girlfriend. So Artemis is an Enchi Fire Spider Super Stripe. So Enchi, or not Enchi, but a Yellow Belly Inspector. So all the babies will be Enchi Fire, any combination of Enchi Fire Spider and Yellow Belly or Spectre. Um, they have to be Yellow Belly or Spectre because mom's a super for him. So, but see now he's relaxed, he's all good. He's all moving around. He just got woke up, didn't like it. Hi. But, we will see what happens with this pairing. I think it's like a 1 in 16 chance of getting a full scaleless animal. Um, but, if we don't, we'll just keep trying. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game. You know, you just keep doing it. And you never know what you're going to get. So, that's what makes it fun. So, but yeah. Pastel micro scale to pastel micro scale. Um, we'll produce super pastels, pastels, pastel microscales, and super pastel, super microscale. Because the super microscale, of course, I said is the full scaleless. Yeah, so we will see. I am hoping that he, or that we get one. Odds probably say no, but you never know. It's possible. I'm not going to say totally no, but... Yeah, they feel neat. They're not smooth like a normal ball python. That's, all I can, that's the best way, I just, like I said, I can describe it. Is They feel almost just like when you rub a basketball. And you feel the little, the little uh, nubs on the basketball. That's what these guys feel like almost. So hopefully in the future we'll get some more micro scales up in here. And we'll have a couple different combos going. Um, as far as... Scaleless head to micro scale. I do not believe that they will produce a full scaleless animal. You will either produce scaleless head or micro scale. Uh, they will not 
they're they're actually different so they're not gonna um, habitat cohabitat and produce the scale sample that I know of I don't think anybody's found that to be true or found a scaleless animal from a micro scale to a scaleless head so what's that word allelic you either get scaleless head or micro scale animals I don't know my brain don't, doesn't work this early in the morning usually um, my brain gets tired from my work because I have to do math constantly well not constantly but quite a lot at work so and you try, I try and do it on the fly, on the top of, from the off the top of my head, because <clears throat> of where I work. Um, it just is better that way. But I do still pull the calculator out and do things, because sometimes you keep. Yeah, it's just stupid. Anyway, we'll keep going on this. Getting on a tangent. Yeah, he's isn't he cool? I mean, pastel's underrated. I know everybody. Oh, it's a pastel. And, sell them for like 50 bucks or whatever okay fine sell them for 50 bucks i'll sell them for 50 bucks too um but in certain combos pastel is pretty cool i love killer clowns it's a super pastel clown um i have another one that i will show off later it's one of the animals that came from the show from sunday and uh the weapons are part of my religion there's the uh guaranteed uh phone going off for the video uh we'll show that one off uh maybe on sunday maybe uh maybe tomorrow tomorrow is saturday um i may get them set up in their tubs tomorrow they've been in quarantine since sunday evening so six it's been it's been five days so there's shadow day number six tomorrow or i may even wait until sunday evening to do it sunday is feed day so we'll see what happens um, but yeah, here's Aries and Eris, his girlfriend, pastel micro scales, both from Garrett DeMeyer, Royal Constructor Designs, and Shadow's going to screw up my video, of course. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. We'll do this. These, this is our next installment, the micro scale. Uh, these are the only two I have in here right now. So, we'll do another video and we'll talk about the pastel a little bit. Uh, and uh, I got a, I've got several other genes in here that I'm going to talk about a little bit. But like I said, all my animals, I don't have any single gene animals other than the normals that I have. So everything's got something else in it. So, But yeah, if you have any questions about these guys, let me know. I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, like I said, Aries has been going, being paired with Artemis. He's been in with her quite a few times. Well, not quite a few. He's been in there one, two. He's been in with Eris five times, and I've seen four locks between those two, um, four visual locks. So um, we'll see uh, how that works out with them. Hopefully, uh, she produces a couple micro scales out of that clutch, and uh, we'll figure out if we're going to keep one or sell them all. So, but until next time, guys, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and set it to all. So you can see when this little guy comes back out again. Uh, or at least see my next video when it gets posted. Um, go check us out over on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. If you want to help support the channel, go over to Patreon. Um, I will be putting up a video on Patreon. Well, I'll do a video right after this one for Patreon here. And talk about some things. And, uh, yeah, cool deal. Alright, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, da, 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 da. I think I got everything. Uh, like I said, any questions, send me a message. I'll, I'll answer as quickly as I can. Um, and, oh, go check out our Morph Market page uh, for the remaining available animals that we have. We've got 16 of them over there. You can see, yeah, pretty, yeah 16 of them right now. It may drop down to 15 because I, I may end up keeping one of our lesser females that we have. Um, I haven't quite decided on that one yet. Uh, but if you're interested in any of them over there, send me a message. We'll talk. All right, guys. I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye. Maybe if I can turn it off.